Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is the first day of fall and I thought it would be a good time to share a Born Pretty fall stamping compilation video. Today I have 9 different nail art designs using stamping plates from Born Pretty store and remember you can use my discount code MGL10 for 10% off your entire purchase at BornPrettyStore.com including sale items. I used a few different techniques including regular stamping, layered stamping, reverse stamping, and gradient stamping, and if you want to skip ahead to a specific design, I'll leave some timestamps in the description below along with my other discount codes and a list of products I used for each design. I also used my clear jelly stamper from nailstuff.ca, and I prepped all my nails with UNT's ready for takeoff base coat. And anyways, let's go ahead and get on into the first design. For this first design, I'm going to be applying a brown taupe polish to all of my nails as a base. This one is Nails Inks TBT and it had a really good formula so I only applied one coat. And then I'm going to be doing a gradient stamp using this maple leaf design from the Nicole Diary L14 stamping plate that I got from Born Pretty. I'm going to alternate red and yellow stamping polishes, and then I'm going to scrape it a few times to blend the colors together, pick it up with my stamper, and then stamp it over the taupe polish. Then I'll just finish it off with a fast drying top coat, and here is the finished design. This next design is not super fall themed, but I think with the darker colors, it fits really well with the fall and winter seasons. So I'm going to start off with a black polish. This one is Orly's Liquid Vinyl. And then I'm going to be stamping this really cool pattern from the Nicole Diary L08 stamping plate with a gold slash green chameleon stamping polish from Born Pretty. And on each nail, I'm going to stamp this same pattern in a different direction and in a different area so I kind of get a little mix and match look even though I just used one image. And then I'm going to top it off with a fast drying glossy top coat. And here is the finished black and gold design. For this next design, I am going to be using a couple Chick Pick polishes in Innocence and Split Pea, which unfortunately are no longer available, but I do remember loving these finishes and I wanted to use them in this design, but of course you can use any colors you want. I'm going to start off with three coats of the light gray shimmery polish, and then I'm going to apply one coat of a fast drying top coat because I am going to be using tape. And I'm going to apply one piece of regular tape down the center of my nail, making sure to press down to prevent any bleeding of the next polish. Then I'm going to apply the shimmery green polish to the half of my nail that is not taped up and immediately remove the piece of tape. Then I'm going to stamp this vertical line with a few leaves around it from the Born Pretty Flower Tango S001 stamping plate with a black polish. I'm going to pick it up and stamp it onto my nail. Now the image didn't pick up completely but I'm going to go back in with a liner brush dipped in some black acrylic paint to fill in that vertical line as well as the leaves. And once I'm done filling in the leaves, I'm going to finish off with one more coat of a fast drying glossy top coat. And here is the finished color blocking leaves design. And when I think of the fall, I think of the leaves changing color and falling from the trees. So that's what inspired this next design. I'm going to start off with two coats of a white polish. This one is Nails Inks White Out. And then I'm going to be stamping the image from the Harunoda L071 stamping plate from Born Pretty Store. First I'm going to stamp this tree trunk design with a brown stamping polish. This one is Volcanic from Twinkle Tea. And then I'm going to do the layering with the corresponding leaf image that I'm going to first stamp with a yellow stamping polish and then with a red stamping polish, both from Born Pretty Store. Then I'm going to finish it off with one coat of a fast drying glossy top coat and here is the finished autumn leaves design. Mm -hmm. 
This design was actually inspired by a red and black plaid flannel shirt that I have and I learned that it actually has a name to it and it's called a buffalo check. But anyways, I'm going to start off with two coats of a red polish. This one is Cherry Delightful by Sally Hansen. And then with the black polish, I'm going to stamp this plaid design from the Nicole Diary 019 stamping plate that I got from Born Pretty Store. I applied both a fast drying glossy top coat as well as a matte top coat so you could see what both of the finishes look like and I couldn't decide which one I liked better so here is the finished red and black plaid design with a glossy top coat and with a matte top coat. I really liked the black and gold color scheme of one of the earlier designs from this compilation, so I'm going to do another super simple stamping design with the same color combination. I'm going to start off with two coats of a black polish. This one is Salon Perfect's Oil Slick. And then I'm going to stamp this full size leaf pattern from the Nicole Diary L14 stamping plate with that same gold slash green chameleon stamping polish from Born Pretty Store. As usual, I'm going to finish off with one coat of a fast drying top coat, and here is the finished gold leaf design. And for this sunset landscape design, I'm going to start off with two coats of Butter London's Lemon Drop, which is a pale yellow, as a base for my gradient. And to make cleanup a lot easier, I'm going to be using this Easy Peel Polish Barrier Liquid Latex from Edge Perfection. Then I'll apply that pale yellow polish to a makeup sponge, as well as a light pink polish from Salon Perfect called Good Vibes Only, slightly overlapping the two polishes in the center. I'll dab that onto my nails with the pink closer to my cuticle and the yellow closer to my free edge and then I'll repeat that process to make the gradient a little bit more opaque and blend the colors a little better. Then I'll remove the edge perfection with a pair of tweezers and clean up any remaining polish that's got onto my skin with a brush dipped in some acetone. Then I applied some fairy dust from China Glaze, which is a scattered holographic topper. And then with the Nicole Diary L10 stamping plate that I got from Born Pretty Store, as well as some black polish, I stamped this grassy image. I'll finish it off with one coat of a fast drying top coat and here is the finished design. Now I know a lot of people are back in school so this next design is a chalkboard inspired back to school nail art design. I'm going to start off with one coat of a black polish. This one is Salon Perfect's Oil Slick and then I'm going to be stamping this full size cursive image with a white stamping polish. And this specific one is Blanc My Mind from What's Up Nails. I'm going to stamp that onto my nails and then apply a matte top coat on top. And I didn't film my accent nail, but basically I used a little bit of top coat to adhere this really cute charm of a stack of books with an apple on top to my nail. But you could also use nail glue if you want it to last a little bit longer. And here are my finished back to school nails.
And this last design is probably the brightest design out of the entire compilation and I'm going to be applying three coats of this super bright and vibrant orange polish from Salon Perfect called Traffic Cone to my thumb, index finger and pinky nails. Then I'm going to apply one coat of a fast drying top coat and apply a 2mm round gold stud. And for the other two nails, I'm going to apply two coats of this milky white polish also from Salon Perfect called Pillow Talk. Then I'm going to stamp this pumpkin design from the Nicole Diary L14 stamping plate that I got from Born Pretty Store with a black polish. And I'm going to do some reverse stamping by filling in all the pumpkins with Traffic Cone, which was that same bright orange polish that I used on my other nails and a detail brush. I'll stamp that onto my nail and then apply one coat of a fast drying glossy top coat to finish off this design. And here are the finished reverse stamped pumpkin nails. So that's all for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you're new to my channel, I do swatches, reviews, and nail art tutorials, so be sure to subscribe and leave me a comment down below letting me know which design was your favorite. If you recreate any of these designs, be sure to tag me on Instagram at caramelogram so I can see. But anyways, that's all for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!